Hi everyone, uh, I'm Lucas Poles. I'm the Environmental Health Supervisor with Kalamazoo County. Um, I supervise the land water and wastewater programs. And one of the programs that we look at is mosquitoes. And so I want to give a quick update on Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Um, Eastern Equine Encephalitis is an extremely rare, but it's a very, very serious illness. Um, it causes encephalitis or inflammation in the brain of those that uh, get this disease. Uh, Triple E is spread by the bite of a mosquito. So a lot of our diseases that we see today are spread person to person, but this is from the bite of an infected mosquito. It's also very cyclical. We may see um, Triple E like we did last year, a high rate of Triple E cases. Um, and then for a couple years we might see it, and then for a decade we might not see it again. So it's very cyclical. This is our culprit, the Culicida melanura mosquito. It's the black-tailed mosquito. Um, it lives in freshwater hardwood swamps and bog habitats. Um, it likes to overwinter as larvae. They typically emerge in May, so we're getting into that time when we're gonna see um, these type of mosquitoes, and they'll have several generations in a summer. This is an important um, graphic on what we see um, with mosquitoes. The, the Culicida melanura mosquito really likes birds. Um, it likes to feed off of birds and it will infect birds. Then we have another mosquito, what we would call a bridge vector, that will feed off the birds, but they really like mammals. So we'll see them feed on horses and humans, especially that, um, that they can infect. And that is, those would be dead end hosts uh, that we're looking at. So those, those mosquitoes really like to feed off mammals. What we saw in Kalamazoo County last year, we saw 10 cases throughout the state and we saw three cases in Kalamazoo County, including one death, which is a very high rate of what we typically see. We don't see any uh, typically in, in our area. Um, animals, uh, we saw uh, some deer, some horses, a donkey and a goat last year in Kalamazoo County as well. So big takeaway from this, how to prevent breeding sites. Uh, how do you prevent mosquitoes from breeding at your home? Get rid of areas that have water, that can collect water. Uh, get rid of uh, old tires, properly dispose of those. Um, flower um, pots, uh, buckets outside, dump those out. Uh, kids toys, things like that. Clean clogged gutters, uh, areas that mosquitoes can breed in are, are clogged gutters. Fill in your low-lying areas, remove hollow logs and stumps. Also to prevent mosquitoes from coming into your home is fix your screens. Um, you know, make sure you have screens in your windows when you open them up. Keep mosquitoes out of your home. Another thing, protecting yourself. With Triple E, we really tell people to stay indoors if you can uh, during the times of dusk to dawn. That's when these mosquitoes like to come out and bite. So um, stay in from dusk to dawn. If you have to go outside, wear DEET. Just protect yourself from mosquitoes in general, but wear DEET when you're outdoors. Wear light colored clothing, um, long sleeves. Um, with, the, with the light colored clothing, mosquitoes like dark colors, so wear some light colored clothing refrain from your dust to dawn activities again, and treat your clothing with permethrin. That's another way of, of preventing mosquito bites. So all in all, those are some things you can do around the home. Um, feel free to contact us at Kalamazoo County if you have any further questions. Uh, thank you.